Have you ever pondered on the paradox of a country where public whipping is a penalty for consuming alcohol, yet is on the verge of opening its first liquor store? Well, this isn't a hypothetical scenario. Saudi Arabia, known for its stringent laws, is about to make an unexpected shift in its alcohol policy. This surprising development comes as part of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's ongoing efforts to liberalize the country's image. Over the past few years, the kingdom has loosened laws restricting women and has started to tolerate alcohol consumption in certain areas. This is all part of an ambitious plan known as Vision 2030, aimed at attracting foreign tourism and diversifying the economy. The first store serving alcohol is set to open in Riyadh, the capital city of Saudi Arabia. However, this move doesn't mean that alcohol will be readily available to all, the store will primarily cater to non-Muslim diplomats. To purchase alcohol, customers will need to register via an app, seek permission from the foreign ministry, and adhere to strict monthly quotas. The ambiguity remains as to whether the store will also cater to non-Muslim expatriates. This decision also aims to counter the illicit trade of alcohol in the country. Authorized diplomats will be subject to strict rules, including a monthly quota and restrictions on bringing guests or anyone under the age of 21. In summary, Saudi Arabia's decision to open its first liquor store is a significant step, marking a departure from its long-standing prohibition on alcohol. This move is part of a broader strategy to liberalize the nation's image and diversify the economy, in line with the Vision 2030 plan. The store will cater primarily to non-Muslim diplomats, with strict rules and regulations in place to control the sale and consumption of alcohol. As the world watches, only time will tell the true impact of this groundbreaking decision.